Hi, in this video I'm going to uh, I'm going to do some conversions between squared and cubed units. Um, and in particular, they're going to be two-step conversions. They don't necessarily have to be, but I'm going to do them in two steps. Here we have convert 35 square millimeters to square micrometers. Now, I don't know the conversion between square millimeters and square micrometers. I don't even know the conversion between meters and micrometers. The way we're going to do all these conversions is, well, I know how to convert millimeters to meters, and I know how to convert meters to micrometers. It's micrometers. So I'm going to build my conversion factors off of these linear conversions, and then I'm going to have to square them to get the squared conversion factors. So when we square these, convert, when we, square these we can get those. So I'm going to start with my 35 millimeter measurement, or millimeters squared. And I know in order to convert into meters, I'm going to have to use a conversion factor. So I, I know that there are 10 to the 3 millimeters in 1 meter. So my conversion factor is going to be based on that. Since I want to cancel out millimeters, I'll put millimeters down below and meters up top. I know there's 10 to the 3 millimeters in 1 meter. Interest in one, one meter. However, this is millimeters squared. And I, if I want to cancel out millimeters squared, I'm going to have to have millimeters squared down here and meters squared up here. So I'm going to have to square that conversion factor. Something's going on with my pen, but should be fixed now. OK, and that's actually going to be our first step in converting into meters squared. But then we also need to get to, mil, or to micrometers squared. I know there are 10 to the 6 micrometers in one meter. So I'm going to have to then do a conversion, another conversion factor. Uh, since I am going to be canceling out meters, millimeters squared with millimeters squared here, I'm left with meters squared. Notice that that's going to be squared uh, because when I distribute that square out. Uh, so I need to cancel out meters and be left with micrometers up top, meters down below, micrometers up top. I know there's 10 to the 6 micrometers in 1 meter. And however, this is only going to be for meters. I need this. I need to square that conversion factor if I want to cancel out the meters squared. Uh, then the meters squared will cancel with the meters squared up here once I distribute out that square. I'm actually just going to write out this on another line with the units cancel 35. Um, actually, with the squares distributed, I'll keep the units uh, that I canceled there. M millimeters squared times 1 squared meters squared over 10 to the 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 2. Or, sorry, 10 to the 3 squared is 10 to the 6 millimeters squared times well, up top here we have 10 to the 6 squared, which is going to be 10 to the 12. And our units up top are going to be micrometers squared divided by 1 squared, which is 1 meter squared. And this is pretty much everything we need to do. Let's look at units to cancel. Millimeters squared will cancel with millimeters squared. Meters squared will cancel with meters squared, and we're left with micrometers squared. We are almost done. All we need to do is uh, figure out the actual number. 35. Up top, we have times 1 times 10 to the 12 divided by 10 to the 6. Our units are going to be micrometers squared. Now, I want to simplify this and get it in scientific notation, too. Uh, we can simplify that 10 to the 2, or 10 to the 12 over 10 to the 6. It becomes 35 times 10 to the 12 minus 6, because we're dividing micrometers squared, which is then equal to 35 times 10 to the uh, 6 micrometers squared. Uh, and 
Uh, that's almost good. We just need to get it in correct scientific notation. I'm going to need to move that decimal place over 1, uh, which means my order of magnitude and my exponent in it is going to change by 1. So this is going to be 3.5 times 10 to the... Well, since, since my coefficient got smaller by a factor of 10, my power of 10 has to get larger by one order of magnitude. So it's going to be times 10 to the 7 micrometers squared. That's our final answer, incorrect scientific notation. I'm going to do one more example. And in this next example, I'm going to look at some cubed units. Let's see if we can get to the next slide. Technical difficulties. Uh, we're going to go pretty far ahead, actually. Oh, here we are. <coughs> actually, let's do a more interesting example. Here, convert 12 nanometers cubed to centimeters cubed. Uh, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We have nanometers. We need to get to centimeters. I don't know the conversion between nanometers cubed, centimeters cubed. I don't know the conversion between nanometers and centimeters. But I, so I'm going to go from nanometers to meters to centimeters. And we're going to use uh, base our conversion factors off of these linear conversions, and then we're going to have to cube them to cancel out the cubed units. So let's start with our value, 12 nanometers to the third. And we need to get that into meters cubed first. So I know that there are 10 to the 9 nanometers in 1 meter. So my conversion factor, if I want to cancel out nanometers cubed and be left with meters cubed, I need nanometers down below. I need meters up top. I know there's 10 to the 9 nanometers in a meter. Don't reverse that. Um, and that's my linear conversion factor. But I need to cube it in order to cancel out all three of these nanometer units. So let's cube that. Next up, we're going to go from meters to centimeters. So I need to know my centimeter to meter conversion. There are 10 to the 2 centimeters in 1 meter. So again, let's start with our linear conversion factor. Linear is in one dimensional or straight line length. I'm going to want to cancel out this meters up top. So meters is going to have to be down below. And centimeters is going to be left up top. There are 10 to the 2 centimeters in 1 meter, 100 centimeters in a meter. However, again, we won't be able to cancel out our meters cubed with just a meter. So we need to cube our whole conversion factor. Um, and now, let's just distribute out those cubes so it's easier to cancel everything out. We have 12 uh, nanometers cubed times 1 cubed is just 1 meters cubed over 10 to the 9 raised to the third power is going to be 10 to the 27 power of a power nanometers cubed. Pen is still acting up times, uh, let's go to our other conversion factor, 10 to the 2 raised to the third power is 10 to the 6 centimeters cubed divided by 1 cubed is just 1 meters cubed. And now we can easily see that we can cancel nanometers divided by nanometers. We can cancel meters divided by meters. And we're going to be left with just centimeters cubed. Uh, sorry, that was nanometers cubed over nanometers cubed cancels. Meters cubed over meters cubed cancels. Um, that's the correct unit, so let's write out our number. I'm going to do it down below. I'm going to group all the numbers together. 12 times, in our numerator, we have 10 to the 6 divided by 10 to the 27. And our units are centimeters cubed. Well, that's going to be equal to, we should simplify these powers of 10. It's going to be 12 times 10 to the, since we're dividing, it's going to be 6 minus 27. 
centimeters cubed, which is equal to 12 times 10 to the well, 6 minus 27 is going to be, can I do that in my head? I definitely should be able to. I think it's negative 21. I'm going to check with the calculator anyway. It is negative 21. I can do arithmetic. Negative, negative 21 power, 21 centimeters cubed. And last of all, we want to write this in scientific notation. We're going to move this decimal place over 1 to do that because we only have one digit before the decimal place. That becomes 1.2 times 10 to the, well, we moved our decimal place over 1. Since our coefficient got smaller by an order of magnitude, our power of 10 has to get larger by an order of magnitude. So we're going to add 1. It's going to be 10 to the minus 21 plus 1 is equal to minus 20 centimeters cubed. And that's our answer. It's a very small number, but 12 nanometers cubed is a very, very small amount of volume. Hope this was helpful. Bye.